continuing our, our study, our investigation into changes and in properties of matter. That's, that's our big theme for this series of uh, matter and energy. Not the only one, but it's the big one. And we're going to start this video with a question. Which is a mixture and which is a solution? Which of these things I'm gonna show you? Here I have a bowl, uh, you can see it here. It's a uh, trail mix, it's nuts and dried fruit and pumpkin seeds and stuff like that. A mixture or a solution or a glass of water. I'm gonna pour in this, uh, this emergency, uh, you know, the vitamin C stuff you pour in the water. So I'm gonna pour that in. And it is, you see it going there. Is this a mixture or a solution, right? So which is a mixture, which is a solution? Let me uh, stir it up a little bit. So what do you think here? Which is a mixture? I have to stir the whole thing up. Which is a mixture? My fingers are wet. And think about that. So the, the, this one, or that one, which is a mixture, which is a solution? And the answer is, they're both mixtures. Because the mixture is just a combination of more than two substances. But this one is a solution or it's, you know, I think it's a solution. Here's the difference. So this one is not a solution, all right? But the other one is, is seem, sure seems to be a solution. Pretty close to a solution anyway. So I'm gonna write mixture Mixture on this side and solution over here. All right, so it's uh, easier, easier to separate, <coughs> I'm sorry, the substances, easier to separate substances, harder to separate substances. I should put this here. A solution is just a type of mixture. They're not two separate things. Just a type of a mixture. And here's the real difference. If you look at the trail mix here, maybe you can kind of see that in the video, the pieces aren't evenly spread out, right? They're not all evenly mixed. The walnuts and the almonds are kind of bunched over here and the fruits over here and some of the pumpkin seeds are in the bottom. So it's not all evenly mixed. If we have a solution, the particles are gonna be evenly mixed. Right, such as something like this. So we can call this one, we can say that the substances, the substances slash molecules, they distribute evenly. We're gonna call that a, oh wait, well, unevenly. I'm here in a mixture, sorry. They distribute unevenly, right? Like this one. We're gonna call that a heterogeneous, heterogeneous mixture. I don't know if you can read that. My handwriting's getting kind of messy, but a, he a heterogeneous mixture. Here, the substances, this, and this really is the big difference. The substance is slash molecules, whichever it is, whatever we're talking about. The molecules, they distribute evenly throughout the solution, right? And it is a homogeneous, homogeneous, I didn't even smell that right. A I think I threw an E in there. I don't need that. Genius, yeah. Homogeneous mixture. And the last big thing that we need to put in here in our notes, on our board here, is that the physical properties
of the substances, you know, whatever's inside our mixture, uh, do not change. But on this side, the physical properties of the substances do change. So what does that look like? Well, I can pretty easily here pull out the cranberries and the, you know, the mango and whatnot, and it's still the same. You all saw me dump the uh, powder into here. It's not really a powder anymore. The physical properties have changed. I could, uh, I could get that out, I, but I, you know, we'd have to work at it. Depending on what it is, if it's water and salt, you can let the water uh, evaporate and salt's gonna be there in the bowl. Uh, if it's water and sugar, you might need to boil it off, you know, boil it off somehow. There's, there's different processes that we'd have to use to separate, that are harder to separate the solution and the mixture is, 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 is often gonna be a little bit easier to separate. Now, what are some types of solutions here? Solutions, all right? Types, I should give myself enough room here. Uh, we'll put it over here. Types one. Types of solutions. Well, there's a bunch of them. Gas and a gas solution. Air, so the air we're breathing has oxygen in it, has nitrogen in it. Well, it's gonna be O2, right, because it's together. Has nitrogen in it, has carbon dioxide in it, has, uh, has, has argon in it, has other things in it. It's a gas, gas solution, right? So, th so it's at least two things. It could be more things inside this solution and inside the mixture as well. The next one, uh, gas liquid. Gas liquid solution. I think uh, soft drinks like uh, Coca-Cola. All right, so we have liquid. The liquid means the water, right? Water, sugar, carbon dioxide, other things. Another one, liquid, liquid. I wanna go through these. So there's, I, why am I going through this? Because I want you to see that there's lots of different types of solutions. Liquid, liquid, that's a lot of stuff. Gasoline is a solution. Different kinds of uh, ingredient, you know, substances in, inside gasoline. Tap water is a liquid, liquid solution. Um, hot water and lemon. Juice, that is. A liquid, liquid solution. Another one. Solid, solid. We don't often think of a, a solution being a solid and a solid, but it can be. Solid and solid, steel. Steel is a good example of a solid, solid solution. Now this connects to solubility, and I should have put lemon juice and lemon juice over here. I'm gonna run out, I need the room. Okay, do it like this. Solubility. Ability. Solubility. So what are we talking about? And what are some examples of this? So we're usually talking about a, where is it? A, uh, a solid liquid. Well, I didn't put that on there. But uh, did, did I forget that one? I did. We're talking about a solid liquid solution, usually. Solid, liquid, and we can put this you know, over here. A solid, liquid solution. And there's two components to this. There's the solvent, the solute. 
the solvent is the liquid and the solute is the solid. And the solid gets dissolved into the liquid, right? So this is the liquid. The solute is the solid. How should you remember that? I have an idea, but I'll tell you in just a moment. And the liquid dissolves the solid. So the solvent dissolves the solute. You know, those are, those are not all that commonly used words. And how, how are you going to remember which one is the liquid, which one is the solid? One way, perhaps, is look at the length of the words. Liquid, solid, liquid is... There's more letters. One, two, three, four, five, six uh, letters versus five in solid. There's more letters in solvent than in solute. So maybe if you need some kind of a mnemonic or, or, or some kind of a tool to help you remember that solvent is longer than solute and liquid is longer than solid, and that might help you remember that a that, that, that solvent is the liquid. So how does it work? This you have likely seen, but say I have a glass of water, and say I have a, a cold medicine thing here, a cold medicine tablet, all right? Which one's this? It's the liquid, that's the solid. So the liquid's gonna be the solvent, all right? And, and the solid's gonna be the solute. The solute goes into the I'm going to drop it and it is dissolving. So what's going to happen here is that this is going to keep dissolving until all of the molecules are going to be spread evenly. It'll, you know, we'll have to maybe stir it a little bit, but they'll be spread evenly throughout. All the, the, molecule, the molecules of the solute will be spread evenly among the molecules of the solvent, and that's the way it works. All right, maybe, uh, maybe you can see that it is completely dissolved. You know, a little bit more. Now it's stirred around a little bit and, and evenly, so that's gonna be a solution, not a mixture, but a solution is a type of a mixture. It's just a mixture where the molecules are evenly spread around. And that's it, that's all there is to it for this section.